Hey guys and welcome back to the harsh and unforgiving world of post Finem, where last time we got wrecked and wrecked up that building over there. Like, we totally got wrecked. You can see, well, we've not even had chance to go and sort out the graves of these four death sites. Because, well, nothing's happened since I died over there. I managed to go and get some food and stuff. But we really do need to try and sort out a whole load of new equipment for me. Uh, and this seems like the perfect time oh, for a rainstorm. No, not just for a rainstorm, but for a getting myself sorted again montage. We break from this equipping montage to bring you some uh, changes in how we're going to do things. First off, I face a big problem right now for I foolishly, I was going to say stupidly, but not stupidly, foolishly took my uh, questing book off to the, uh, the building of great sorrows over there, as we're going to call it. But it's okay. It's all right. We, we can sort this out. I have some things around me that will enable us to uh, fix this problem. I can do this, this, just for making a standard book. We all know how to make a book. And in the string, boom, questing book. Now, hopefully, this remembers everything about me. Yes. Yes, it does. Okay, wonderful. So, I was going to make this AB9, but I was thinking maybe we could do with getting a little bit of a rapid-fire rifle or perhaps a headshot. We're going to work on some other things here instead. Now, this gun is the AB24. Now, I made the AB9 last time, but let's see. Was it Dash 24 or just straight 24? It was indeed the Dash 24. All of which I think is well within our realm of building. laser rifle what more could we want in here so we get to choose something i'm going to pick the scope as i've got nothing else really to go with it um and i think that would be cool now one of the first things we need to do reload always reload this thing first and let's go and fit this scope up Isn't it amazing? So I think I figured out what uh, LRW stands for. It's the Long Ranged Weapon Number 21, right? I, I think that's what it's all about. And if we come into our defense quest here, there we go. I am going to once again get a scope or a laser. No, we're going to go for a scope because it's a long ranged weapon. I'm just going to quickly pop these here. Other awesome things that I wish to show you are down here. If we have a look in our book, uh, in the Life Rebute... Rebooted? Life rebooted. We will not have life here. No, no. In the life uh, rebooted thing. Uh, I can't remember where I actually ended up including the bit of footage where I was like, Oh, dandelions. I can go get that by bone mealing the grass up there. And then got very disappointed because you couldn't get dandelion seeds. Well, I've made some dandelion and I've got some seeds. So that that's that one taken care of. Uh, I'm going to take the quarter of five heart because, you know, we're pretty short of hearts at the moment. Uh, the other thing was, you remember that we got the barley from crossbreeding wheat with 
something. That's not. That's a weed. Look at that. Let's get rid of that. Th this is what I do every time I come down here. I'll have a look. The problem is, look how close this looks to that. Obviously, it's gone now. Uh, this is pumpkin. Like I can't tell whether that's pumpkin or weed. Like this one back here, melon. N not not quite what I was going for, but it will do. But yes, yeah, so you remember that we were breeding the wheat with something to get barley. Well, if you breed the barley with the wheat again, you get these rye seeds. Now, there's not really grown, but I do believe if I uh, right-click with that, yeah, we get the barley seed, uh, the rye seed. I know what I'm doing. Leave me alone. Don't, don't ask these things. Uh, and in here, manual detect... No. Oh, we need to actually get the right. All right. Give us a couple of seconds. I'll be back with a grown item. Ta-da! Okay, let's uh, break that and get the stuff right. The right is what we are after. Quest book done and another quarter heart. Uh, I believe this actually means if we combine these two together, I will deal with all this stuff in a second and run our way upstairs somewhere. I believe over here. Yes, right. We're going to combine these two together and we're going to get ourselves off this horrific situation where we've only got one life to our name. Boom, two live. Brilliant. Right, we no longer are in fear of dying instantly when we go outside. In fact, let's go and have a look outside. I don't think pretty any much is going on out here. Uh, the bees are clicking over quite nicely, and I've started putting in that pathway that I keep going on about. I was originally going to put it along the side here, but then there was this hole already here. So I thought I might just poke a, poke a tunnel through but yeah, I'm going to go uh, get my stuff together and be a little bit more prepared for building some defense turrets. All right, guys. So last night I went a bit on a bit of a rampage. I went around and killed as many zombies as I could find. Uh, not just for those 10 levels of experience that you see there, but that is like the main thing that I was doing it for. We've finally been able to get to the point where we can upgrade one of our bits of equipment. And whether I'm going to do my sword, my pick, or my armor is a matter that is still up for debate but more importantly given like you know them over there i managed to kill enough zombies to get our full heart reward i'm actually going to get a sniper cell back because that's what i was using mainly for that uh just a quick like drop in with here you can see we've done a lot of skeletons uh ghasts are ones that i've been killing a lot of there should be some footage about that either i put it in before now or uh, at some point uh, but everyone else is kind of halfway or thereabouts. So, this entire next segment was actually supposed to be a little bit of me... Oh, it's during the day. Uh, going around and building all these turrets. I've actually moved it away because it's not... Uh, these ones here, the gun turret in particular, is the one we're trying to get onto at the moment. The problem is, you'll see here, there's electrical steel, there's electrical steel, there's, there's just electrical steel everywhere. And I have a little bit of a bottleneck on production here. Uh, it requires iron and pulverized coal, two things that we have in great abundance, but it also requires uh, one of those silicon billets. Let's uh, have a look in here. One of these businesses. And they're actually quite hard to make. Um, the way I've been doing it so far is through this silicon. You know, I've been um, decomposing some ob uh, obsidian down to silicon dioxide and magnesium oxide uh, and stuff like that. But there are other routes. The one in particular that I'm looking at is this pulverizer one. Now, sand seems like a bit of a, a route. Uh, and we will go through that where we're going to get all the sand from. Because you may have noticed there is not great deals of sand and then the stuff that is here uh is not gonna last me long you can see we've got some there yeah it's really not gonna last me long so i have been getting prepared to make a different uh machine it is indeed the pulverizer um i'm not sure if we can shift click this because it keeps wanting us to have the uh, reinforced frames and stuff like that and i know i don't actually have one i just want the standard one so if i wait for a second okay cool we can then put it in there and take the pulverizer now where am i going to put this well i think i'm going to put this right here the reason being oh hello is this doing stuff all right we're just filling up the the bar here the reason being this chest back here is full of cobble uh and it should be getting more cobble in it have i turned the augmentations on? oh I stole them. I stole them, didn't I? I put them over here for other things. Okay, well, we'll deal with that. In fact, we are going to deal with all of that right now. What I want to do is make a whole load of augmentations. So this one will push cobble sideways, and then this one can pull it back in. Now, I have no idea how to do that off the top of my head, but we, as I say, we're going to find that out. So augmentations are the way forwards. Maybe we can type it straight into here, augmentation. Yes, okay. So we have the servo. 
and the integrated hopper. I think all these things are things that we need to do. So give me a second, go and collect some stuff. Okay, so as well as making all those augmentations, I've also made a second pulverizer here because I just feel that is going to be super useful. Okay, I think the first thing I want to do is drop one of these in here and start thinking about how we're going to configure because the last thing I want to do is pump out cobble to this thing to my side here. So let's get rid of all of these. Is there a way of turning them all grey? That would be so much nicer. I do not see one. So what we want to do is try and output orange to the cobble. Okay, cool. And then once we've done that, we want to put in this servo mechanism. And that should then start pumping out to the side here. Can we have a look in there? Uh, yes, yes, we, we saw that going there. Brilliant. Okay, the next thing I want to do is try and make that happen over here. Wow, that fire and that noise is loud. Uh, so we want to pull in from the blue and we want to push out the red. Okay, that's going well. And we'll turn all these into uh, dead zones. We're going to have power in the back obviously uh, so that's the augmentation done there and we're gonna do the hopper thing so we can pull in from this side ah oh, that is beautiful everything appears to be working exactly how I want it to so we're gonna do exactly the same here before we go and put everything in we want blue and then we want all these to be blank if we can and then hopefully when we put this in here we should start grinding no not cobble cobble is not the thing I wanted to grind down how are we doing this uh, okay, let's stop this now because that's not what we wanted. Okay, stop that, pull that out. Okay, maybe what we need to do is put a servo mechanism in there and push yellow, uh, red out sideways. So I will go and make another one of these and see what happens. Okay, so the guy seems to have wanted to join us somewhere along the line, but we are not going to pay any attention to him because who cares about him and read that side. Okay, finally, we're on the silicon thing, and this was exactly what we were trying to do here. I'm just going to dump that half stack of sand that I had in there. Hopefully, this will just keep flowing through now. The thing we got to worry about, obviously, is the gravel. I will think of something to do with that, possibly put a chest underneath. But more importantly, we get to do this and start making a whole load of electrical steel. All right. Okay, I'm going to go and collect my thoughts together. No, I'm not. I'm going to go see where that, that ghast is. That's, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go look at the top and see where the ghast is. Uh, and then what I'm going to go do is collect my thoughts and figure out what we're going to do about uh, the electrical steel, the turrets. We're going to be working on the machine gun first. I literally cannot see him. There he is. There he is. I know he'd be around somewhere. Let's... Uh, Try and use this. The one thing I don't like about these different gas is they are so strong. So strong. Normally one of these like long range shots will take anyone down, but not these guys. Oh no, no, no. But hopefully we should be able to get some nice stuff off of them at some point. There we go. An entire clip was not wasted, but used in that. There should be some XP around. This is what I'm after, is mainly the XP. Uh, because, you know, at a few more levels time, we can start upgrading some more of our stuff. I'm at level 7 already. We're on our way to level 10. Where did he die? It was somewhere around here. Oh, man. Wow, we and other expressions of amazement. This took me so, so very long to prepare for. I think literally 24 hours going around and doing things. But finally, we are ready to start building gun turret stuff okay so the first thing we're working on here is if i can just find it in here this gun cut turret so this is the first thing we're going to work on okay so the barrels we need like level two stuff i already have this stuff prepared thankfully we've got a barrel and the electrical steel making the electrical steel was one of the things that really took uh, a bit of time oh i have forgotten something the main thing that took so long was actually getting all these capacitors together uh, because I didn't have any of the raw ingredients kicking around uh, so we had to put it all together. There was like making a whole load of methyl icon items and then making all the plastics to go around it. Uh, but with everything done, we should actually have something nice and simple like this. Now you might think that getting that gun turret together was not a big issue and believe me, Getting that gun turret together was not the biggest of issues, but we're going to start working on the next bit that really did take a lot of time. This is the uh, the turret base. Uh, this is what we're working towards. Now, thankfully, I've managed to get a sensory module together, and in here, this is the thing. Oh, oh my, this one 
took so long to get together. It's these double layer capacitors. I had to go through and make all the stuff as I ha had said. There should be a whole load of stuff on screen right now showing you the process I had to go through. It was long and arduous and a lot of things had to happen. But thankfully we can now just put this together like this and we get the tier two base. Oh man, that was a lot of work for just very few amount of gun turrets. Uh, just the one. Now in the book, the machine gun turret is the next step from the basic junk firing, which is what we did. We have thankfully got these both together. We're going to get a whole load of ammo for the bullets. Uh, what are we going to get? Now, we've already got a reactant dynamo, uh, and the AB9 clip is a bit rubbish. The half heart... Mmm, I'm in an R ring, but I think I'm going to go for the leadstone energy cell. I'm not sure what I will actually be using it for, but you know I'm going to use it somewhere. Uh, probably, if we come over here, we will actually take this block out here. Because it's not a real block. Look, it's actually part of an um, energy system. We're going to put this in here. And this is now going to be my power system for my uh, surrounding the house turrets. This... Uh, tier 2 turret. I think we might actually end up putting on the back wall here. We get an awful lot of bad guys spawning right there. Like th that very, very spot right there. Uh, so I thought maybe we could pop it down in the corner here. Uh, let's just do this raw and dirty. We're going to do it like that. Oh, no, we want to... There we go, like that. Uh, we now, of course, have to go and connect it all up to the power system, but I really don't think that's going to be much of an issue. In fact, hold on just for a second. There may be an incoming montage. <laughs> So we have a contestant on does the machine gun work. i got a feeling it's going to. And there we go. Look at that. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Uh, I should get out of the way, though. Oh, no. That was really quick. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so the gun works. we got all the power lined up and working well on here. There was a little bit of an issue of getting the uh, leadstone cell properly configured. I had all these set up wrong. But now it all flows through. Do I have a conduit on me? I do not. Uh, so... The power goes, you can see, through these ones, then up the corner and along this almost very top line. Not quite the very top, the penultimate line, that one there, and into the turret. I should be able to use that power system to hopefully provide power for an all-round uh, defensive system. Okay, so it's another... Um, audacious day today. Uh, if I grab a vibrant crystal, you'll see that we have 15... 15 levels on our person uh, and I would really really like to do this really would like to do this I've been trying to upgrade my pick for a little while now. I'm gonna call this guy grunty Gr Grunty the pick For he is my general work pick uh, he does all the grunt work if you will and pop him in there brilliant So I've been filling this up with sulfur just to make sure I've always got power uh, which is obviously something that I always want to have. I've also moved all the conduit stuff under here. I've got a feeling next um, next episode is just going to be building, well it's not just going to be, we're, we're going to do some other things, but it's going to be building a machine to make this conduit binder uh, and then cook it all through and get down to the conduit covers and make the conduit stuff and just have an entire room set over to that stuff. I have some other things that I wish to show you as well. Uh, for the past three weeks I've been trying to grow rice, the only problem is I've been trying to grow it on farmland and of course that is not the way to do it uh, but once I'd figured out that paddy fields were the way forwards I've managed to get a whole load of rice together here so I'm just gonna harvest this up and get my book out uh, I had the spider eggs just in case uh, the 
machine gun didn't want to work properly for us. Uh, thankfully, it does. Um, Cleth Quest, thank you. Life rebooted. Re rebooted. I can't say rebooted for some reason, not without saying rebooted. Uh, okay, so rice seed. Brilliant. What are we going to claim? I'm going to claim some fried rice. I, I'm not sure why. That's just the one we're going to go for. I could have probably gone for another heart and that would have been useful, but I need food right now. And wow, look how much food that gives me back. This is going in the fridge. This is this is something to keep hold of. Um, I'm actually going to have a quick triglyceride and we'll sort out all the other stuff in a second. So the next thing to go for, obviously, is the soya bean. We're going to have to try and read how that works. Uh, something like this soybean crop no soybean itself for could tell how the sea we need beans and rice beans and rice I'm sure we could do that uh, the thing that I really do need to do if we're gonna do that is of course set up beans in the corner here uh, I'm just running through all the d oh wow we've got some very very low level beans here. Uh, I'm just going around setting up some growing and showing you what I'm going to be doing in between episodes because unfortunately we have run out of time. We managed to get a whole load of stuff together, getting our dark iron and things like that on. Uh, we've managed to get a new turret up and working on the side here. Uh, I've been turning bees over and it's been throwing out the odd cultivated bean, uh, not bean, bee, sorry, the odd cultivated bee. Uh, let's come over here and have a look in here. Uh, you can see we've got a few cultivated drones. No cultivated queen as of yet, but I need to do a serious rework of this area if that is what we're going to do. But anyway, with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time when we're going to work on binder composites and getting some more XPs and doing all sorts of things to move on with the quest book because obviously the, the, we really need to finish this. I should imagine we're going to get this life rebooted done very, very soon, followed by the basic tech. Uh, and defense is also well within our grasp. But until then, I will say...